Thank you for joining us. We are at the Greater Miami Jewish Federation annual community-wide fundraising event, Super Sunday, combined with Good Deeds Day. Shari Arison once said, in order to make a difference in the world and to make the world a better place for all of us, we need a critical mass of people who think good and do good and make a difference together. We'll meet Shari Arison following these messages. With us now is Shari Arison. Shari, it's such a Hi. pleasure to be with you again. Pleasure to be here, thank you. It's been quite a few years. You know, what an amazing idea this Good Deeds Day is. With so many problems, so many problems everywhere in the world, and very few events really unite people everywhere. There's so many festivities that are for one interest group or another, but Good Deeds Day, really should become an international holiday. How did you come up with this wonderful idea? Well, what's amazing is it's already become an international holiday. We're already in 50 different countries. Here in the United States, we're in 29 different regions. Started in Israel eight years ago from a small idea that everyone can do a good deed for the benefit of others, each one in their own way, each one according to their heart's desire. And in Israel, coming Tuesday, 520,000 people will be going out in 8,000 projects all cultural backgrounds, all ages. Fascinating, what an achievement. Please share with our audience your concept of values-driven business. Well, I really believe that you can do business, but you can do good business, business uh, that really gives benefit to people and the planet. So for instance, in Bank of Poalim, the largest bank in Israel, we uh, lead with the vision of financial freedom. The idea is to give the awareness, the education, and the tools for people to reach their own financial freedom, to grow and prosper and make the right decisions, the right choices. Shikun and Binui, which we lead with the largest infrastructure and real estate company, which builds all over the world, you know, roads, bridges, highways, uh, real estate projects. Uh, we lead 100% sustainable. We build in a way that not only doesn't harm the environment, but it benefits the environment. Taking into consideration everything from people to plants to animals. Uh, so we really can benefit our planet in that way. Uh, Mia is a company that I started which brings an abundant amount of water. We have water in the world, we just need to be more efficient. And with technology, we reduce water loss in a way that brings millions of people water to people that didn't have access to clean drinking water before. So you can do business and still uh, add values and benefit people in the planet. All such essential causes. Yes. On top of everything, you wrote a best-selling book. Yes. Where spirituality meets materialism. Tell us about it. Well, there's two books that came out, actually three books that came out already. The one you're talking about is Birth, When the Spiritual and the Material Come Together. And it's really about my spiritual journey and my, my business journey. However, a recent book that came out is Activate Your Goodness, which was instantly a New York Times bestseller. It was translated to Hebrew, became a bestseller in Israel immediately, and it's been translated to 20 different languages and distributed to 40 different countries, including all the Arabic countries. Um, in that book, it talks about how we can do good for ourselves, our families, our workplaces, our communities, our countries, and our planet, all circles of life. There are so many successful people in the world. However, I can't think of any who reach the extent of good that you are trying to do, the difference you're trying to make in the world. Please explain what motivates you. Well, I've always cared about people. I've always cared about the planet. And I, I believe that, you know, I always say we're one humanity. We're one planet. Um, if we want to see a good future for all of us, we need to create that future. I try to do my part, and with the messages that I relay, um, I encourage people to do their part because I believe that together we can really make a difference and we can create the kind of future, a good future, that we all want to see. Again, I, I come back to my first question, which is, with all of the fragmentation that our world experiences with people in different interest groups, what more can be done to make Good Deeds Day become a universal 
a worldwide holiday that actually becomes an official holiday perhaps throughout the world? Well, like I said, we're already in 50 different countries. More and more people are going out. I started a social network called GoodNet, goodnet.org, which has already united six million people with 500,000 a month joining. Again, around doing good in every field, health, education, the environment, really all walks of life. And I really believe that in order to unite people, we need to connect to our core values. We all uh, care about uh, being healthy. We all want to be happy. We all want to prosper and grow. We basically all want the same things. And I think if we connect on those basic values, and that's why Good Deed Day works, because we're all connecting to doing good and each one can connect to it in their own unique way. So some people go and help the elderly and other people work with children and other people create public artworks or clean beaches or clean parks. So each one can do a good thing, each one in their own way. The United Nations represented such hope for the world years ago but is a great disappointment to many. Yet your initiative really has the right spirit and everything and really should be what's out there and maybe we turn the United Nations building in New York into a nice condo. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, we, we, you know, we're growing. This year in New York, we, uh, we had a call to action at NASDAQ. We were at the closing bell in NASDAQ and for Good Deeds Day and it was a call to action for all businesses around the world to do good. And we went on a Good Deeds Day bus all around New York City and like I said, it's growing. I think it's just step by step. We need to be patient, connect the people that are doing good and create a critical mass of goodness in the world. There are so many volunteers right here at Federation but worldwide many people involved in Good Deeds Day. How many volunteer hours are there total? Well, it's amazing. First of all, hundreds of thousands of people are going out. And what's really amazing is this year, the eighth year of Good Deeds Day, we have two million hours of volunteering. And it's amazing because the message really is that a good deed can even be a smile that brightens someone else's day or buying a coworker a cup of coffee. It doesn't have to be really difficult things. But some people want to volunteer their time. And like I said, this year, two million hours of volunteering, which is quite amazing. We're growing every year, and think about the impact of two million hours of volunteering, thousands of projects around the world. It really makes a difference. Another gift to the world from Israel, Tikkun Olam, how yes, interesting. Yes, yes, and I always say it was important for me that we start in Israel, and what's amazing in Israel is, like I said, it's crossed all cultures. We have the entire Arabic community, the Haredi community, religious, non-religious, um, we have children in schools. We have a project called uh, Change by Design, something we adopted from India. It's in the school system in Israel where kids uh, invent what they want to see to better the world and they play it out on Good Deeds Day. They actually invent uh, different things. Um, so it's amazing to see how it's grown and the circles have grown. A common denominator for everyone. Yes. Wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Many people in our audience would like to learn more about Good Deeds Day. What's the website? Gooddeedsday.com. You can go, get stories, make pledges to do a good deed. And really, there's Good Deeds Day, but you could do a good deed all year round. Gooddeedsday.com. And you, Shari, are such an inspiration. Thank Again, you. as I said, so many people in the world who are successful are busy playing golf and maybe not that concerned with the world around them, but you dedicate so much of your energy and resources to making a difference in the world. Please again share with our audience why you are such an idealist. Well, I, like I said, I, I think if we want to see a good future, we need to create the kind of future that we want to see. And I feel that each one has the responsibility to take their part, and I do my part. And really, thankfully, I have businesses, I have philanthropy, and I try to do good in everything, in every field of business, in the philanthropic side, through the books that I write, and within my family and my community. This has been most interesting. I want to thank you very, very thank much for being so with much us. Thank you so much for having me. Thank it's you. It's fantastic. We'll do some more in the future, I hope. Great. Thank you so thank much. Thank you. I'll be right back. There's so many people who need our help every day and this is just one day when the whole world gets together to feed people who are hungry and help people who need it. It's to show we love and we love to care. 
And do you like being here, kids? Yes, yes. We're actually it's having fun. a lot of fun. Why do you it's like being here? It's a great here? time. It's a great time to help and also have fun with our friends. So we came here today to make macaroni and cheese. We're going to feed people so that they have a meal. And all these ingredients are going to give them energy and nourishment so that they can continue to smile and live healthy lives. Um, we are putting ma macaroni and cheese in bags so we can serve them to the homeless people. I think it's really a big mitzvah to come here and help other people put together these um, packages of food with people that are not fortunate enough as, as we are that we should always be giving back and helping and making a difference in the world. It's really important and that's why I bring all my kids here and do this whenever we have the opportunity. I see a gentleman schlepping a large sack. Let's see what he's up to. What, what, what are you schlepping here? I have soy here, sir. We're putting the soy with the macaroni and cheese for nourishment and health. Big 50 pound bags. How long would it take someone to eat all of that? <laughs> Quite a while, but since we're delivering 30,000 packages, this will go a long way.